YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I know I've been gone for a while and I've been promising you guys something new. Well, it's finally time to show you what's been what's been cooking this whole time. So I've been talking about this big change for probably uh, the last three or four videos. Well, it happened. It took me a few months to get everything together, but I want to share with you guys what this new big change is. So per usual, let's get into it. So this is the new shop, as you can see it's insulated and air conditioned, um, there's my old box, I have a loft. I am now in Florida though, I'm no longer in California, so I've made a big journey and you know, back to my old tricks, uh, right here we have a flying spur that's in pieces, so we had to take the turbos out, we had to pull the whole front end out to do uh, the turbochargers. You can see there's the whole front clip with the radiator and condenser and everything. These are the new chargers being fitted. And the whole reason the chargers failed was due to this seal right here. There's a TSB on it. This is the same engine that's shared with many Audis. It's the 4 liter TSFI twin turbo V8. Um, I'll show you the carnage. Here are the original turbochargers here. And uh, if you look, you can see that they uh no good it took some serious serious damage and then uh, I have a McLaren GT here I did some service on today so I'm in uniform today so I was doing some work 28 Bentley uh, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow I got two of them there's another one right there and uh, this is the facility if you look in there right down there you can see there's a um, let me zoom in here. The silver cloud. We'll walk by that. I had two silver clouds here this morning, but two of them shipped out already, so those are gone. But let me tell you a little bit about the facility. There's my Beamer. So, I work at JB Import now, and we have one big facility, but we have two branches, two departments. So this is the exotic department, which I am running myself. And then on the other side, which I'll give you guys a tour, that's the European department. And uh, we have a big staff here. So these two bays are the exotic department's bays. You can see there's a silver serif right there, doing a bunch of work on. This is a uh, princess body cloud up here on the rack. And this is a Morgan Aero uh, Super Sport. Actually a very rare car. And then we have a uh, old Franklin, that you can see. The Morgan's just gorgeous. And this is a two-ton Princess body cloud. So these two bays, this bay is getting outfitted with insulation and paint to match the other bay very shortly. But uh, let's go on with the tour. So as we make our way down to the parking lot, you can see we have a lot going on. This is a bad day to film because our parking lot doesn't have a bunch of bangers in it, but we got a couple. So here's that, that cloud. The one I had earlier, one of them was a right-hand drive partition car. Just like the one I just showed you on the rack, that's a partition right-hand drive car as well. And this is our European bay here, which this department's much larger because it does a lot more volume than we do on the exotic side of things. You have to forgive the, the buzzing sound. Um, we got somebody welding. We do full fabrication here as well, so he's fabricating something there. But yeah, this is, a, this is the main shop. The office is in here. All this is office facility. We have an alignment rack. But it's, it's a quite, quite a large facility. So there's five techs that work in here. And then I have two guys uh, in, my in my department who work for me. 
But yeah, this is this is what I've all been building up to. This is what I've been talking about. This is the big move. Sunny Florida. Granted, there's no palm trees to show you right now. There's lots, lots of palm trees here, I promise you. For those of you who live in Florida, you already know. Well, let me take you into my office. It's being remodeled right now. We're doing a lot of remodeling. So we finished the bay that I'm in. We're doing this bay next. And then we're also doing the office. A lot of the drywalling stuff got done um, in the break room that we're building, but we haven't actually got started on my office yet. And you can see you got the red carpet to come spend some money. This is my desk. A little messy. A little couch, but all this is going to get changed up. We're going to redo everything, but in here we started. This is all fresh drywall. They've been working in here to make a, a nice, like, conference break room, the fridge, and everything. And then uh, once they're done in this room, my room will be next, my office. And that's our accountant James in his office there. And then uh, Mike, who owns JB Import, this is his office. But yeah, so you can get an idea of where I've been, what I've been up to, what's going on. Been busy. Been really busy. But yeah, everything's, uh, everything's working out. So, no more California, sadly. Uh, I had to go. California was just stressful to live there. You don't know if you're going to get stabbed or live another day. It's gotten so crappy there. But yeah, Florida is the land of opportunity. And it's the only other place where I feel like I could make my living the same way I did in Cali. You know, it's a coastal state, a lot of uh, high-end vehicles, a lot of Rolls Royce, which is, as you guys know, my favorite manufacturer. But I'm not... Um, I'm not biased, only to rolls. I work on everything. So McLaren, Bentley, Ferrari. We had a 599 in here earlier too, a few weeks ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you can kind of see some of the stuff I've been up to. We do a lot of volume here. Uh, and it's, it's nice because now I have a team to work with. Where before I was kind of a one-man show for the most part. I, um, I'm happy. This is really nice. You know, I miss my friends and family back in California. But overall... This was the move. So now you guys know what's been going on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make as many DIY videos as I used to. Not that I made a bunch anyways, but I had, I had made quite a few. But um, I think that my role here is a little different now. I'm doing less and less technician work and more and more um, managing and writing, customer relations. But uh, certain jobs require me to get back into my uniform and get in the shop and do some work. But you know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kinda like dressing nice and shaking hands and moving my lips versus uh, you know, busting knuckles all the time. But I gotta get my, my act together and find the balance so I can still be in the shop too because you know, after so long, you miss it. You wanna, you wanna be in the toolbox. I spent a lot of money on all my stuff, so I wanna make sure that I'm still able to use it. Um, let me give you guys a quick little look at how I set my box up. So I got a little, a little display now on my box. Got the Viper with the engine out on the cherry picker. Still looks pretty close, pretty familiar to what it used to be. Just uh, in a different, different area. But thank you guys for uh, supporting me and um, staying staying with me even though I've been neglecting the channel, which you know I've said it before in my last video. I know, I know, I'm guilty, I'm guilty. But hopefully I can start bringing more content, and uh, I got to figure out what I'm going to bring to the table now. If I'm not going to do DIYs, I'll still try to do some DIYs, but I'm not sure how often that's going to happen. But at least now you guys know where I'm at, what I'm doing, and. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thanks again. I appreciate you guys.